Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. So today we're going to have a look at the Lansen Sea. It's in the store as we speak. Now the Lansen Sea is a tier 8 premium tank. It's a medium tank. It sits on the Pan-European line and it's a Swedish tank. Now I know other YouTubers who are more famous than me with a lot bigger channels than mine have already reviewed this thing. Thing is, I generally don't look at other YouTubers reviews. That way I get to keep a clean mind and I'm not overly persuaded on whether their opinion on the tank is right or not. So what do I think of this tank? Well, first and foremost, I need to explain to you this tank is not in my garage and I'm a tank collector. And why is that? Well, we'll get to that later. The tank itself, well, I think it's pretty balanced. For a medium, it ain't exactly fast. Okay, it's very sluggish. It's also got an excessively long load time. 10 seconds. That's for a medium tank, guys. This is not a heavy, but it does play more like a heavy um. So those are the downsides. It's sluggish and it's got a long reload. What's the upside? Well, it dishes out pretty decent high-end alpha. I mean, you can get 400 out of this thing. It has actually got relatively good penetration and it has stonkingly troll turret armor. The other thing it's got going for it is that that reticle comes down really quickly. I mean, the gunner in this tank is pretty hot. So it's not a bad tank. Now I know a lot of you are waiting for those immortal words. Is it broken? Is it OP? No, neither. It's neither broken and it's neither OP. It is generally an all-round balanced tank. Those players out there with, you know, very high win rates will do a lot of harm in damage in this thing. Because if you stick it all down, the gun depression is not too bad, then, you know, you will farm until your heart's content. I mean, I'm not going to set the world on fire in this game. I'm going to do shy of 3,000 damage, which for a tier 8 premium tank, medium at that isn't too bad. But I'm not setting the world on fire. I mean, 2.8k, bounced 870, didn't kill anything, mainly because the guy behind me was stealing everything. But I'm quite happy with that game. I mean, it's the only, it's the only game I've played in the tank um, since I tested it. And I'll be honest with you, you know, I, I actually like the tank. So if I like the tank, if I don't think the tank is, you know, a disaster, why on earth is this tank not in my garage? Good question, which we'll get to as soon as we go through this. Now, a couple of things. Um, I played this on my CC account, so I don't have premium on that because I'm lazy. But the credit card efficiency for this tank is pretty decent. I mean, we earned 106,000 credits there without the, the booster that you get with the premium type. So that's not bad at all. We were second top damage. Again, not too bad. So why is this tank not in my garage? Well, I'll show you why. Um, because, 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 if I can get to it, where is it? Where are you gone, little Lanson? There you go. Because... If I want it with all the bells and whistles, it's 15,000 gold. Now, I don't know about you, but I think 15,000 gold, even though you throw in a few uh, mystery boxes, is a bit obscene for a tier eight medium tank. Now, okay, for that price, you get the tank, you get the three mystery boxes, which, you know, you can get your gold back probably. You get the moose legendary camo, you get an avatar, you get all the equipment unlocked and you get the garage slot. But that's what you, you, know, you that's what you're getting realistically. So if I take out the mystery boxes and take out the moose camo and everything else, well Wargaming is still selling it for twelve thousand um five hundred. There it is there, look, twelve thousand five hundred. That's if I just have that bundle. Um yeah, it's giving me the wrong bundle there. And that says it's thirty percent off, which means it actually costs twenty almost twenty two thousand which is pretty obscene when you think about it. I mean, look at the tank here, it's 12,500. All you get for that is the tank in the garage, no equipment, no avatar, no camo, and certainly no mystery boxes. Um, you know, it's 2,500 less. So clearly the legendary camo is not pre priced that high. The mystery boxes are not priced that high. And, the cam and, and, and everything else is not priced that high if the tank is 2,500 cheaper. Now the thing is, next to it, next to it, I've got an M60, which is a tier 10 medium. 
I mean, for that bundle, which is 17,500, you get the tank, you get all the equipment, you get the garage, you get an avatar, you get 25 times five boosters, and you get an order license. So you, you, you're getting more bang for your buck. Plus it's two tiers higher, it's a tier 10. So why would you get a tier eight medium that's uh, 2,500 cheaper? Well, you just wouldn't, would you? Now, next to that, you can get two tier eight premium heavy tanks for 10,000. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's 5,000 cheaper than one Lance and C. And that comes with all the equipment unlocked. It comes with 20 times five boosters. It comes with three legend, it comes with all the legendary camos and everything. I mean, it, it, this, this is a much better deal and they're heavy tanks. So, you know, if I had 15,000 gold, I'd buy this, why not? But it's not for me to tell you how you spend your money. That is purely, purely up to you. But the fact of the matter remains, I'm a tank collector. I've got, uh, in my garage, I have 487 tanks. The Lanson C is not one of them. And the reason being is because I am not prepared to spend 15,000 gold on a tier eight medium. It is just that way. Now, okay, you know, you could probably get your money back with regard to those mystery boxes. Um, I'm looking for the mystery boxes. I don't know if they're in the store, actually. Um, so, you know, realistically speaking, you could potentially get it back. But do you want to take that gamble? Because that's what it is, guys. It's a gamble. You are gambling to try and get a mystery box. Um, for, well, you're not gambling to get a mystery box. You're gambling to see if anything will come out that is decent in that mystery box. And that's a big ask, if you ask me. And I'm certainly not prepared to take that risk. So it's up to you. I mean, I personally won't buy it. I'd wait. Uh, you're not going to be getting an OP super broken tank. You're going to be getting a very balanced tier eight heavium, really, for a lot of gold. So... Your call, not mine. I wouldn't do it personally, but I'm not you, you're not me. Anyway, that has been the Lanson C in my take on it. I've been Fuji. By all means, comment and everything will go. Give me your thoughts on this one. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.